What's up, good rook? My name is Kadri DS, and today's training is going to be the St. Paddy's workout. A lot of legend around this one, and it's going to be a great time. What you've got is three rounds as fast as possible of 17 rook burpees, a 20 meter crab walk or low crawl, depending on your environment. Then 17 weighted sit ups, followed by a 20 meter bear crawl or hog crawl carrying a sandbag. The way that this is going to go, at the command of go, you're going to start off with your ruck on with the burpees. Lowering all the way down, chest and thighs touch the ground, press your way back up, and then stand fully. Okay, we want to lock the knees out, extend the hips, and stand erect. Another variation, if you're concerned about a little extra movement on this, is a step over the sandbag. That will ensure that we're up and down every rep. You're going to complete 17. I recommend stepping out every time we have a ruck on, just so we don't get nailed in the back of the head, okay? Then, the crab walk. This is a new movement and a crowd favorite. I recommend flipping that ruck around to the front rack position. We'll lower ourselves down, keeping our arms locked out, our hips off the ground, and a little bit of bend in the knees. You're gonna take little steps with your hands and cover the ground, okay? Very important here, we keep our hips up off the ground and we're not scooting our butt. If you've got a beach or a awesome grass lot that you're gonna do this workout on, I recommend also low crawls. Low crawl will be a good modification if you've got any shoulder issues, but the crab walk is a fantastic time. Once we get back from that 20 meter crab walk, you're gonna move into the weighted sit up. You're gonna keep that ruck in your front. You're gonna lower yourself all the way down till the shoulder blades are on the ground and then hard sit up till our back is vertical and we're all the way down and all the way up for 17 weighted sit ups. After we complete those weighted sit ups, throw the ruck back on your back and you're gonna move into the bear crawl, okay? A couple options on this, if you don't have an extra sandbag, you'll just do a bear crawl. But if you do have an extra sandbag, you're gonna increase the suck factor by pulling the sandbag along with you. Okay, so you're gonna take a couple steps, grab the sandbag and pull it. If you've got concrete only, we're not gonna drag our sandbag and cause rips and tears and friction burns. I recommend picking it up, placing it ahead of you, and then taking those necessary steps to catch up to it every time. We can go forwards or backwards, okay? The movements, both crab walk and bear crawl, you can move out forwards or backwards, mix it up, It'll load the body a little bit differently and be an awesome time. And again, by the numbers, we're representing the legend of St. Paddy's. The low crawl represents him banishing the snakes from Ireland. The bear crawl or hog crawl represents the legend of the slaughter of the hogs during the famine. And by the numbers, the legend is that the death date of St. Paddy was on 317. So have fun with this one, guys. Three rounds, 17 ruck burpees. 20 meters of crawling, 17 weighted sit-ups, 20 meter hog crawl, have fun and keep training.